got some really unfortunate and disturbing news from former Pittsburgh Powers closing pitcher Felipe Vasquez, Mario. Uh, and I actually remember this. You know, it was in my first semester of college back in uh, September of 2019. I actually remember reading about this. Uh, he has been found guilty of statutory sexual assault, Mario. So basically what ended up happening was, again, this case was um, a couple of years ago, but they finally have a verdict on it uh, two years later, or almost two years later anyway. He has been, he has been found guilty of 15. 15 counts, Mario, 15 of them, uh, which also includes corruption of minors, but it also found him not guilty on 10 counts of unlawful contact or communication with a minor. Um, at that time, Mario, Felipe Vasquez was 26, and the girl, get this, was 13. That That's just that's just absolutely insane, Mario. And what ended up happening, Mario, was he was arrested back in September of 2019, Um. He told the police that he had, quote, sex, but not really with the girl in 2017. I don't know what that means, but I, I don't know. But um, and guess what else he did, Mario? He sent nudes. Of course he sent nudes. Of course he did. Um, and, and as a result, Mario, the investigation began after the girl's mother found out and actually hit him up saying that she's a minor. And as a result... Vasquez's defense argued that she misspelled uh, that he misled her him about her age. So basically what that means is that he's saying that she lied about his age. That's basically what he's trying to say. Um, and before I continue, because I actually want to start off with this, Mario, um, the source for this was ESPN. So let me go first. OK, first of all, shame on you. All right. Shame on you. Let me tell you something. OK. I've always uh, let me let me start off with the nude part. OK, I've always frowned down upon that, you know. You won't like like me as a person. You will never catch me doing that stuff. Understand what I mean? Because for one thing, if I send that to somebody, for one thing, I don't know how old they are. Like in this case, or two, I don't know if they're gonna give that to other people. So I mean, you guys do you. You know, if you do that, that's that's your thing. I'm not gonna judge you. But at the end of the day, I will tell you this: be careful of what you say to people and what you send to them, because that that stuff can be leaked, and most likely you're not gonna have a fun time with that. As for Felipe Vasquez himself, personally, I don't know if it because again, his defense said that uh, was arguing that she misled him about her age. So, which basically means that he's saying that like she lied about her age or something like that. I'm not sure what happened in that case, but either way, you got to be careful. And if she's 13 years old, Mario, can't you kind of tell that she's not? a minor or that she is a minor my bad excuse me i got i got mixed up on that if she's 13 years old right shouldn't you be able to tell that she is a minor because like us we're adults we're done growing you know what i mean but when we were 13 we didn't look like this when we were 13 years old mario we didn't have facial hair we didn't we're not tall like we were uh like we're not tall then like we like we are now you know what i mean aren't you able to tell you know, and, and, and especially like clothing back then, we don't wear the clothes that we do now. Like our, our, our style of clothing is different. You know what I mean? So I don't know, Mario, like this, I remember, I remember reading this and it, was, it disturbed me a lot. It's like at the time he was a top closer in the league too, Mario, and the Pirates weren't a good team and they still are. He was a top closer. He was forming some hope for the Pirates. And then this happens. You are a professional athlete. Why are you doing this stuff? What gives you this kind of reason to do this stuff? I cannot stand this stuff, Mar. I really can't. It's it, like, why? What's the point? And not only that, but you're sending news to her. Come on, man. Come on. And 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 it, it, and it's even worse when the parent has to step in and be like, "Oh yeah, you're a minor. She's a minor." That's that's GG's right there. You just you just screwed yourself up. And now now because of that, you got charged on 15 counts. And now you're pleaded guilty. It does. Uh, the article doesn't say um if he'll be facing any jail time or not. I hope he does because I, I I'm gonna be honest with you, Mario. I think he should serve time in jail. How how much time? Honestly, I don't know the law like that. I don't really study like that. So you you can be the judge of that in the comments down below, or you can even be the judge of that, Mario. But I do think he does need to go to jail. I really do think he does. But again, the article doesn't mention if he um if he's facing any jail time or not or whatever. So. Again, I hope he does go to jail, but it doesn't say. So with that being said, um, to the to the girl that was that was involved in this, I do apologize. Um, as for the mother, same thing. It stuff like this shouldn't be happening. As for Felipe Vasquez, go to jail, man. That's that's the best I can say. It really is. This is just an absolutely disgusting thing going on.
Yeah, well, usually how it works is a person gets convicted guilty of something, and then they have like a, a separate, they have a hearing to, so they know what their sentence is. Oh, okay, okay. Let me tell you something, Nate. It's going to be a few years. It's going to be well, more than a few years, but it's going to be, again, you get my point. Um, Here's the thing. What he said about, what he said about him not knowing her age, the article somewhat kind of backs it up. And the reason why I say that is because he says he had no clue that she was 13. And then it says in the last paragraph, the mother sent a message to Vasquez informing the girl, informing him that the girl was eight, was a minor. Or he had no clue that she was 13. I'm sorry if I said 18, but um, yeah, man. I mean, first of all, you got to be really careful what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And again, to your question, uh, can't you kind of tell? Everybody looks different. You know, not every, there's all, every, everybody, I, people are like, this is why I say, people are like snowflakes. You'll never find one in the same. You'll find people, some that look very, very similar, but you'll never find, everybody's different in some way. So I don't know what this girl looks like, okay? But all I'm saying is, as a professional athlete and as a person in general, okay, you need to, you need to be more cautious. You need to be more cautious. It's as simple as that, okay? It's not, um, how old are you? Oh, I'm 18. I ain't even gonna lie about being 18. You can't even, you can't even tell people to show you their ID. Why? Because people create fake IDs now. Absolutely. Okay, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rat on people or anything. But you don't know how many people that I've seen in college who have fake IDs. You know what I'm saying? That's a thing now. So you also gotta. You so it's it's a scary world that we're living in. That like you can't even tell who's really who's legal and who's not. You know. But here's the thing. Okay, as f- for Felipe, he's definitely going to prison for a very very long time. And the thing is, again, statutory rape and sexual assault. Again, shame on him, and that is disgusting. Because whether, because here's the thing, it's bad enough that she was 13. Okay, it's bad enough about that. Now, with the, but the fact that you're getting sexual assault charges as well, and child pornography, that's a problem. That is a huge, huge problem. And he's going to go to jail, mate, for a long it's time. Already problem. It's already a big problem enough as it is. Right, and he's going to go to jail for a long time. Okay, it's as simple as that. It's, 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 it, okay, any, any woman in general, this is, this is going to, sexual assault and rape, it's a huge problem. It is. Any woman in general, the fact that she's 13, it makes it that much worse. Okay. And again, and again, the, mo- the mom had to contact him and let him know, like, this is a mi- this is a minor. You have to be more careful. You have to be more careful. And it sucks, man. It really does suck. Okay. Cause it, it really, do- it, it really does suck because a lot of people, cause it's hard. Now it's hard to tell pe- people what their age is and everything like that. Cause people lie. There are people who lie and stuff like that. There are people who create fake IDs, you know? So you just never know. Um, honestly, honestly, if I go to, what do you call it? I go to college. So me, I see a bunch of kids and they all look like me. College, you know that they're basically most, almost all of them, okay? Almost all of them, if not all of them are over 18, you know? Or, or you, they're over 18. Some of them are a little younger. Some are like 17, about to turn 18. You know, they're, they're like, they're a part of that young class. But other than that, you know, you, you absolutely know, like almost, you almost absolutely know that they are 18 and above. Okay. But you can't be sure of that either. You know what I'm saying? So for people out there, here's my advice. You got to be very, very careful. Okay. You have to be very, very careful. And Felipe Vasquez was not. And not only that, he, he got charged with statutory rape and sexual assault. And that's going to be on him, too. And mo- he's going to go to prison for a very, very long time, I can see, Nate. Okay, I can't see how he can get out of this. Um, so with that being said, and we're going to say it one more time because we say it almost every single time. We got to talk about something. And we hate to talk about these topics, but we got to because it's news. All right. Make the right Make damn the right choices. choices. That's all I got to say. Make the right damn choices. That's what we say every single time. So... That being said, I'm not going to really wish, I'm not really going to wish anybody the best of luck besides probably the 13 year old girl. If she, again, I'm sorry that she did get sexually assaulted. You know, it's, it's very, very unfortunate. It it shouldn't happen to nobody in this world, you know, but other than that, man, the the best way for us to end this is to make the right choices. That's all I got to say.